psychometric testing, pre-employment reviews, reviews that you might do, psychology tests, getting yourself ready for employment with an organisation or reviewing your team members before they come on board or reviewing your team members while they are in your organisation. All these things are what we're going to be discussing today as we talk about our 10 most common questions uh, in psychometric testing. What are the disadvantages? Great question, actually. What are the disadvantages of psychometric testing? Uh, it creates anxiety in someone before they go for the test because they're going to worry whether they're going to pass or fail. Uh, it creates um, negativity around the results, particularly if somebody really wants a job and we put them through the psychometric testing and it says, actually, computer says no. You know, we, we say that a lot here at Best Practice. We say, eh, computer says no. Um, so, you know, sometimes I, I'm a very trusting person and I'm a, you know, I want to just employ everybody and bring everybody on the team. Um, and so it can be disappointing. So, you know, one of the disadvantages is it can create disappointment. It can create anxiety. Um, it, it can create bureaucracy. You know, some people might say, I'm not going to do psychometric testing. Uh, slows us down. Um, so, you know, those are the kinds of things that, you know, I want you to be aware of and you want to address that up front. Um, and if you're going to ask someone to go for a test or if you are going to go for a test, then really be asking yourself your question, how's this making me feel? It, it really should be, you should be, it's something to get excited about and it's something to look forward to because it's going to give you an insight in how you can improve in your career.